to address your previous assertion that uh, race means nothing, critical race theory is not being taught in schools. It is a academic theory that's pretty much delegated only to higher academia. They are not teaching it in schools. Your explanation of it was an oversimplification. You address the real history behind it, unlike most people. And why, if race means nothing, does it affect our history? Say, 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre, why is there such evil history with something that supposedly means nothing? Okay, so first of all, you're wrong. It is being taught in elementary schools. I'll give you an example. Not only is it being taught, it's being enforced. So in Denver, there is a playground where they say white families not allowed. Would you support that? That seems like a ridiculous edge case. So I'll give you another example. Actually, in the National Education Association's training manual, which is the largest teacher union in the country, they had a seminar on how to teach critical race theory to kids. That sounds like it's in our schools, doesn't it? What, what that is, is it's literally just common sense. It's saying that this is real history. This is what has happened in the past. Right. right. So what that matters. Okay, got it. So, for example, you, would you say that black-only dormitories is wrong? It certainly creates a sense of community. I don't see any problem with that. We have sororities. We have male-only dorms. Right. So racial differences are irrelevant and immaterial. Chromosomal differences actually do matter. But let me ask you a question. Are there differences between races? No, not biologically. Then why would we have different dormitories for races? Culture. Segregation is what you're arguing for, my friend. No, sir. No, sir. How, how is it not segregation to have blacks in their own dorm? You've just, you've just pigeonholed me, essentially. You've essentially just like, you've distracted from my original argument. No, no, you, you did that to yourself. Let's yeah. reemphasize. So, okay, so okay. Ibram X. Kendi argues, who is one of the leading thinkers of critical theory, race theory, discrimination today to atone for discrimination of yesterday. We have black-only graduation ceremonies at Columbia University, black-only dormitories across the country, for example, at Western Washington University. Can you join me today in saying black-only dormitories are evil, wrong, and it's segregation? You still haven't answered my question about why does this history simultaneously mean nothing? Well, I'm happy to also, answer that, but the fact you're dodging segregation in America, why is that? I'm arguing against, I'm arguing against segregation. So you're against black-only dormitories? Yes. Well, you said it was a force of community, and then for your not for critical race That's theory. That's an option. We have choice. Oh, so you could choose to segregate. That's, that's a pigeonhole. You're what do you think of white-only dormitories? What? Would you support white-only dormitories? Everybody has a choice. So I think white-only and black-only anything is evil and wrong. That's why I hate critical theory and critical race theory, because when it's Which put in practice... When it's put in practice, you start to discriminate people based on race. So we're now south of the Mason-Dixon line in North Carolina. We did a lot of work to get rid of segregation in this country. Why are you trying to bring it back? What work? Um, the, National, the Civil Rights Act of 1964. In this state? Uh, yeah, actually, in this state. <laughs> are there black-only bathrooms out there I'm unaware of, or white-only bathrooms? Nah. Right. A lot of work was done in the state. Fuck you, your, your face is small. Well, thanks for being here. They always go to insults when they lose the argument. God bless you, my friend.